Hi guys! Today we are going to show you our loaded cauliflower recipe which is really delicious because it has our cheese sauce in it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do a whole roasted cauliflower which I think looks really nice if you're presenting it for like a you know people coming over if you're entertaining or something like that we've used it with friends before yeah as a side it's, it has wow factor yeah <laughs> and it's delicious as well so that's good so the first thing that we're going to do is actually cook the cauliflower partially in the microwave this just speeds up the cooking process so i've got a whole cauliflower here and we've just taken off the leaves and the stalk and we're just going to pop it in like a heat proof bowl and cover it with some flour wrap, clean wrap, plastic wrap. <laughs> I'm just going to pop it in the microwave for about 8 to 10 minutes and until it's kind of just starting to get tender. So we don't, we're not cooking it completely because we're going to cook it in the oven. But this will just mean it won't take quite as long in the oven. If you didn't want to do it in the microwave, you could also do it in like a steamer basket. Um, I just think this is probably easier. And we've got the oven on at 200 degrees Celsius. 400 Fahrenheit. <laughs> so we'll cook this in the microwave first and then we'll come back and do the next stages. So how long was that? Uh, that was 10 minutes. Right. 10 minutes, yeah. So now we're just going to make a little seasoning mix that we're going to brush all over the outside of it, which will make it taste delicious. So I'm going to use a tablespoon of adobo seasoning. So this is the Simply Organic one. Um, we can actually get this from our local IGA. I've seen oh, it okay. there. Yep. Um, but I think I bought this one on iHerb. If you don't have adobo seasoning, you can... Um, use anything you like really this is a combination of salt onion powder garlic powder dried oregano and pepper so you could easily make your own if you google it i'm sure there's recipes around or it's could... one of your favorites isn't it yeah it's really good <laughs> on chicken wings that's our favorite thing um, so with our tablespoon of spice mix then we're just going to do three tablespoons of olive oil i'm just going to mix that together and then we are going to brush it all over our steamy little cauliflower here and we just want to make sure that it's all coated with the kind of spice mixture it looked like a lot when you first did that i was like oh you're not going to use all that but you're going to use all of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah the cauliflower kind of soaks it up Especially with it being warm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. that now goes into the oven like that? Yeah, so we're going to pop it in the oven for about 30 minutes until it's all nice and golden brown and cooked through. And while it's in the oven, do we make the cheese sauce to go with it? Yeah, Is we're that... going to do all the accompaniments, have them ready while it's in the oven. So once we get it out of the oven, it's ready to serve. Perfect. Okay, so our cauliflower is roasting away in the oven and while that's happening, we're going to get everything else ready for our loaded cauliflower. So we have already made this ahead, but you could make the cheese sauce. So we've made the cheese sauce on a video before. I will pop it up in the description. Um, in the cards and also in the description below so you can make that ahead of time. Yeah, so it's super easy to make. Dan even made this all on her lonesome, but it's like <laughs> cream, um, cream cheese, butter, parmesan. parmesan cheese and a few like herbs and spices. So that's ready to go. And it is better if you kind of let it sit for a little bit because it'll thicken right up and then when you pour it on the cauliflower it kind of melts a little bit. And then we've also got six rashes of bacon that we've just fried up and chopped up. So that's perfect for sprinkling on top. And then some chopped up fresh chives that we'll sprinkle on top as well. So the idea is it's kind of like a loaded baked potato, but keto style. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the cheese sauce, I guess, could be filling in for the sour cream or the cheese, but then bacon and onion is, you know, commonly what's on top of it. So. Once our cauliflower is roasted, we'll grab it out and put it all together. Okay, how good does this look? It looks so 
Oh my god! <laughs> I'm scared to try and pick it up. Oh I don't god. know how I've done this before. Anyway, so our cauliflower was roasting for 30 minutes and you can see it's all golden brown. And if you just kind of put a knife through the middle, you can check to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. But and now... just committed. <laughs> We are just going to put it on our plate that we want to serve it on. So we're going to serve it whole. Also what I will say I have done previously um, was I've cut it into like eights, kind of like wedges and served it everything separate so you could kind of build your own because right, we've yeah. had some people Vegans there who or... perhaps don't eat pork or don't mm. eat cheese then they can just make it to their own whereas Actually, once you vegans could only eat the cauliflower <laughs> <laughs> but once you put the cheese sauce on it kind of you, you've committed yeah <laughs> now as i said before it's better if the cheese sauce is not like piping hot straight off the stove that you've kind of like it's just warm or um like it's not super hot um I'm, i don't want to ruin it so it looks so, you looks so pretty. it better put the cheese sauce on it it makes it better so now we're just going to pour this cheese sauce all over the top. You can choose how much you choose to put on and you could even serve some like that and keep some on the side to add extra. And then we're going to pop on our bacon. Oh yeah, so good. And then we've got our chopped chives, which I love the colour. Yeah. And then it just adds like a nice flavour as well. So you can see how delicious that is it presents so well yeah and yeah. then you can just like slice it up into wedges put a bit more sauce on if you like but yeah super super yummy and no one's gonna miss the potatoes trust me no we have literally served this instead of potatoes <laughs> and Multiple no one's times. i mean our friends probably don't like us but you know <laughs> too bad <laughs> Anyway, we really hope that you give this uh, recipe a go. Honestly, I think it's a real family favourite. Kids are going to love this, trust me. There's bacon and cheese involved. <laughs> What's not to love? <laughs> Hopefully you've liked this video, guys. If you have, please, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.